Hey there, it's Amy, and today's video will end when I am completely caught up back journaling in my Hobonichi cousin. That's right, I have taken inspiration from my favorite booktubers who do the videos that are this video ends when I read a five star, and sometimes it takes them months, sometimes it takes them weeks, um, and I'll let you see how long this actually takes me. <laughs> I talk a little bit about this in the video, but consistently in my Hobonichi Cousin, I have been behind. I've been like back journaling the month before, pretty much since the year started. I, I don't know how it happened, but I knew that I needed to do something drastic to like break the cycle and get caught up. So that is how this video idea was born. Will I make it? That's for you to find out. <laughs> That's for me to know and you to watch over this very lovable and charming video. We got a lot of ground to cover, so let's get into it. So do you want me to sit here for the whole thing? Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is my director, my producer, <laughs> my muse. <laughs> your t your uh, technical. Your tech, yeah. First things first. You are staring. I feel like I'm talking to you. I guess I will. First things first, we've got to figure out what happened on these days. If you haven't watched my back journaling video, go back and watch that because I walk through exactly how I figure out what I was up to. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I use my Instagram story archives and I go through and I see what I posted and it jogs my memory. I also use my Hobonichi Weeks, which is in my purse somewhere. I'm gonna have to ask my producer or director Mia's <laughs> to get it for me. Typically I would use um, post-it notes. I like split them in half and I'll jot down what happened and stick it on the day. But that has been getting a little unruly lately because I'll take them off, stick them somewhere else, never find them again, yeah. Or um, I'll go to like draw something and the sticky note will like trip up my pencil a little bit and because it's like thicker than the page you know so i'm just gonna jot directly on top of what's happening okay march 2nd is the last thing i have journaled so let's figure out what happened oh my god bowen straight Did a lot of back journaling. That's really about it. So I'm just gonna do exactly that. Check my stories. If I can't find it in my stories, I'm gonna go to my camera roll and just jot down kind of key points from the day so when I get to it, I can decide what I want, what I want the page to be. forgot to, to start the timer or to acknowledge the time. So I, I started this journey at 10.30. It's 11.03. We're fully done back journaling. Oh, I guess I haven't talked about this other thing. Damn it. You think you can hold the phone for a little bit longer? Is that a yes? Can I get a verbal agreement? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm giving myself prompts throughout this challenge just to keep it like a little bit more interesting and to keep myself from getting in a rut. Cause you know, when you're trying to like, when you have like a bunch of assignments due for school, not that I remember what that's like. And then you just start like half-assing it towards the end. Cause you're just like, I just want to be done. I've written myself a list of prompts that are going to help me make this fun, keep it fun for some creativity when I'm feeling like maybe I'm spent. So do you want to go through the list with me? Can I get a verbal agreement? Yes. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have one page of all words, one page of no words, one monochromatic page, one page of book covers with a book review, making and installing a pocket, using my yellow paper house, using my yellow paper house papers to make something else, like cut it up and paste it down to create something else, um, doing a song illustration and then I reached out to some of my favorites, one being Elaine behind the camera. Hey, Elaine. 
say. <laughs> and she wants me to do a page, like one page that's food based. So like an illustration of something that we've been eating. Natasha in your phone gave me the challenge to use a new medium that I haven't used in my journal before. And Claire from online, I'm gonna go through a list of her prompts that she just sent out in her latest Substack for her page, Not Afraid of Paper. So I'm gonna go through those prompts and find one that I wanna use. Um, and I actually, I forgot I was doing that when I was back journaling. So now I need to go back in and delete some of these lesser ideas. How's your arms? It kinda hurts. Okay, well we can, we can end it there. I think I said everything, right? Yeah. Bye. I don't want to tell you what time it is. I did take a break for lunch. <laughs> um, I guess I will tell you what time it is. It is 2.10. I started this journey at 10.30. That's fine. Um, so looking at my challenge prompts, technically I could cross two off the list, but I'm only going to do one because I'm feeling like my book club page doesn't count for whatever reason, I think because I like didn't give a like starred review basically. I just kind of gave, or I just kind of gave a brief overview of book club and some thoughts that I had about the narration. So I'm not gonna count that, but I will count um, this page as one page all words. This is uh, recently when I was in the bathroom. Elaine loves to do this thing uh, when I'm in the bathroom. Sorry, <laughs> did you just get so nauseous? 
Uh, when I'm in the bathroom washing my face or brushing my teeth, uh, she will be in the living room. We Our apartment is not that big, but it is big enough and our floors are concrete. Like, whatever. It's hard to hear and she'll do this thing where she will have a full conversation with me when I'm in the bathroom running water. Fully can't hear her. I was trying to communicate to her, hey, I can't hear you. But I looked down at my phone at the same time and I got a text from my friend Amelia who created the app Bookworm Reads. And so I, I like registered the word read and I said, girl, I can't read. And she was like, what? So I had to commemorate that. So that is my page. One word, one page, all words. And let's mark it off the list. All in all, I'm feeling good. This is my favorite thing to do. It's Sunday. I'm not doing a single thing. I'm sitting here working my Hobonichi. I have not been able to do this in weeks and it just feels really nice. So while I am essentially trying to complete a challenge, which is back journal, like this video will not end until I'm caught up back journaling. It's, it doesn't feel like work or it doesn't feel like something that has to be done. It's like exactly what I want to be doing. So feels good. Last month, an Instagram follower of mine sent me a DM and she's like, hey, I'm a math teacher. I used you today <laughs> to write a problem for my students. Here it is. And so of course, I'm adding it to my Hobonichi. But the thing is like, I finished reading the the problem, got a pen and paper out and I just stared and that, that piece of paper remained blank. Still blank because I don't know how to do this. She Later she was like, yeah, it's college algebra or something. And I was like, could not be me. But anyway, the, the math problem is, <clears throat> I'll put it up on the screen, but the gist of it, she mentions candy salad and gives uh, the total that I spent and how much I made. And then you have to figure out like how much each candy, how many pounds of each candy I bought. And I'm just sitting here having the time of my life, you know, printing it out. Or, or writing it out on a piece of paper, just having the time of my life not even realizing that I'm fully eating candy salad. And it, in the problem, it says Nerds Gummy Clusters and Starburst Jelly Beans, which are featured in the candy salad. So don't you love when that just, when a very specific thing is happening and you get to enjoy it? <laughs> Moo hoo. I'm still having fun. I'm definitely getting distracted and that's okay. I have done five pages today. I need to take a break though because I'm getting like, ugh. I just need to take a break. All right, I'm back at the house and I am <laughs> hunkering back down. It is 6.45. I don't want to, I don't want to tell you. I have not made it that far and that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, I am skipping around and doing stuff that I like know I want to do. So right now I'm about to do the page uh, for my back journaling video when that went live. So I printed out the thumbnail on my Canon Ivy printer. And I will incorporate this somehow. And I think this will be a photo and drawing mix from my prompt list. So it'll be something similar to what I did actually in that video, which is this right here. So we'll see. <laughs> I don't go into these with a plan, so it's a little hard to film them because it does make like editing that out a little bit of a nightmare. But once I get it going, I'll film it and you can see what that looks like. And it'll be fun. Uh, I'm watching Potomac. Um, Real Housewives of Potomac. I'm catching up. Overall, it is a flop season for me, but that's okay. They all can't be great. I also finished the reunion episodes of Beverly Hills this past season, which were so good, even though Andy hates Dorit. It's like, it's so obvious to me. 
And then when this is over, Elaine will have some work to do. So we'll probably put on like some YouTube videos, maybe some like booktubers that we like that's just kind of gentle that she can work through and whatever. Um, and if she wants to watch sports instead, then I will probably listen to an audiobook or something. So yeah, that's the plan. That is the plan. All right, checking in, I am crossing two more off my prompt list. One from me, one from Elaine. Sorry, like that is not cute, sorry. All right, one page all food. And then photo drawing mix. Nice, serial killer script, awesome. <laughs> I was just trying to time like how long some pages were taking me. <laughs> And I only did it twice and um, it looks crazy. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you. So I did the food only page for the day after Elaine's birthday when we were still in Athens, kind of bop around and having fun. And I relied very heavily on my week in the life vlog that I uploaded from that week. And then I did like a screenshot of my phone in the YouTube app to show off like the new back journal video. And then I have Haley Fam at the bottom because that's what was recommended to me. Next, the light is really something. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be chipping away. I'm gonna eat a bowl of cereal in a minute, maybe some ramen. The hottest ramen in the, the hottest ramen in the world. And I'm just keep on going. I feel good. I've one, I've knocked off three things from the list. That's pretty cool. All right, back at it. Sitting on the floor on two <laughs> couch pillows. Back is screaming. It's all right. It's worth it. These are the things I do for you. And you. Okay, bye.
know what this one is, and I think we already know that going into it because it's just dialogue between two people. Now I'm gonna use my Yellow Paper House papers to do like a little cut collage of a dinner I had with my friend Kelsey. Oh my God, what was that even pointed at? <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> I only got the end of it. <laughs> okay, well, eyes up here, buddy. Um, I'm gonna use my yellow paper house papers to make the dinner that I had with Kelsey that night. And I'm gonna record that, but I'm probably gonna record it, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna record that. It's 9.55. Wow, is that true? Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going. This video ends when I'm caught up. And it looks like this video is gonna be happening tomorrow a little bit as well. <laughs> Should I tell them now that this was supposed to be a 24 hour thon? I was just about to say, I thought you were supposed to stay up all night until you got it done. Is that what you want from me? <laughs> no. Honestly, I could do it. <laughs> uh, you'll have to stay up too, though, no. so I don't get scaled. <laughs> yeah, I think we should both just go to sleep at a reasonable time. Boring. <laughs> Originally, this was going to be a 24 hour journal thon because I love to watch. My book tube girlies do 24 hour readathons. I was like, let's make it a whole thing. I tried to film this yesterday, which would have been a Saturday, starting at like seven o'clock, but the wheels absolutely fell off immediately. And I just gave up and melted into the couch. So that's when I woke up this morning. And honestly, Elaine was like, why don't you just do it? Like this video ends when you're caught up. Like how also the book girlies do this video ends when I get a five star. So that's the plan. Did you care? Just wondering. Comment yes, if you care. <laughs> <laughs> I do appreciate that you, Elaine, nodded. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to encourage you. Thank you so much. How, how are you? I'm great. Cool. Just doing some statistics. You're doing some statistics? Mm hmm Awesome. I'm going to cut some paper because what I'm doing is also important and smart. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh... Okay, bye. Style. The writing is beautiful. The, the language and the stories and the actual... Okay, all done with that. What time did I say it was when we started? Nine. Do you remember? Oh, 9.55. Oh, thank God. I thought it was 9.25. I mean, still, that took an hour. Almost. Worth it. Obviously, I'll get better footage of this during the daytime, but there's Kelsey's catfish sandwich. It was like a bon mi, but with catfish. And then this was my turkey hoagie, which had like turkey and pepperoni. Oh no, I'm just realizing you can't see any of the turkey. Anyway, I, anyway, I guess you can't, couldn't really see the turkey in there either. Slaw, and then I had a soup. Kelsey had a mocktail. And I just think it's so cute. This is what the table looks like, as you can see. So just like a, a little snippet of, um, of our meal. And I actually used parchment paper to wrap our sandwiches up in. So that, that's pretty fun, I think. Cool. Good talk. You want to see the final? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so cute. Thanks. The little paper. I know. Should I add more like stuff to the top of my bread? I can't really tell. I think that's cheese in the picture. Or sauce or something. I don't know. No, I think it's good. Thanks. She is such a genius. No, give me a guess. <laughs> Again, I don't actually know what that caught. I don't knock down something and also almost fall over under her. Oh, great. Apparently. This is my last check-in because it's 10 minutes to midnight. 
this is my current situation. <laughs> Remi that was the worst laugh I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Reminder to myself, future self, if this video goes up and you haven't replaced your glue stick, witness, witness. I hate this thing. I hate it. It's too big. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot which way I was facing. <laughs> I currently have journal madness. Anyway, last thing I just wanna talk about before I pack this all up and start again tomorrow. I've made it halfway through. Well, let me tell you this first. I am doing a pocket on this page. This is gonna be, uh, my friend Kat had her baby. Ugh, I hate that I just said it that way. My friend Kat had her baby. <laughs> And um, this has a special significance, which I'll tell you about later. I want to include a photo, but also it's like not my child to broadcast on the internet or in any places. So I have taken the picture and like put it on one of these yellow paper house papers and then hid it in a pocket. So that way it's just like not always out and about where everyone can see it. But I normally make my own pockets out of vellum paper or this paper or whatever, mostly vellum paper lately. I've been hoarding the sleeve that hotels give you the keys in and I covered it with some paper and now I'm using all this scrap paper that I had originally used a page ago. Oh no. <clears throat> oh my God, I forgot to glue this down. Oh my God. Well, it's not that big of a deal. I know I did glue it down, but this glue just sucks. Oh God. I really hate that glue. Anyway, I'm using those scrap pieces of paper just so I don't waste them and I'm making flowers. Oh, that's actually cute. Maybe I'll do, that's actually really cute. So initially I was just gonna do like my swirly roses on top, but I think maybe I'll layer up like that and Whatever, we'll talk about that later. But anyway, I just thought that was cute. And then I'll put these on top um, to kind of hide the pocket a little bit more. I have to cut this short. I'm losing my mind. Anyway, we'll talk about it a little bit more tomorrow. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Good night. I accidentally just <laughs> turned everything off. <laughs> I'm gonna jump back in and I'm gonna try to get as much done in half the time. Think I can do it? Probably, because I'm not gonna be watching as much TV because Elaine's gonna be working. Wish me luck. Okay, brief eclipse viewing time break. It's pretty dark in the house at the moment. It is 3.15 and I think it's gonna get a little bit darker over the course, over the next like 10 minutes or so, I think so. Back to it. I have 13 days left before I'm done with March. Not bad. We're gonna do it, I'm finishing it. I'm finishing it today, so. I didn't go to work, I canceled the gym. <laughs>
am gonna finish it today. So let's do it. gonna go with it because <laughs> I don't remember last time we talked I have five pages left it's 10 o'clock I'm tired I've done this all day with the exception of like I mean I ate I saw the eclipse god I feel like I'm staring at the sun right now so five pages left I have two prompts left on my challenge I also decided it's okay if I don't complete the challenges <laughs> that I set. <laughs> There's like 11 there. It doesn't matter, we'll figure it out. Anyway, okay, this is enough. Back to it. It's 11 o'clock. I have how many pages? Three? Yeah. I have two and a half, technically, pages left and I have to clock out and pick this back up later. I am so tired. I had a lot of fun. Whatever. It's not over yet. I'm not filming an outro yet. This is Robert. In case you want. <gasps> Sorry. It's because I just emailed Robert. This is Richard. Oh my God. How dare I? You know what? I'm done. I have two and a half pages left. We'll see how it goes. All right. Good night. I'm back. It's the next day. I have two and a half pages left. It's late. It's after 10, but YouTube is on. Elaine's on the couch. <laughs> I don't know why she just looked at you like that. And I'm going to knock it out. Don't look at them like that. <laughs>very fun. It was a lot. Not in a bad way, but it's like, I definitely have some time management issues where like only when it comes to art, I think something will take me a lot less time than I actually will. And granted, of course, I'm getting distracted. I'm watching TV. I'm like taking breaks to eat snacks and, you know, smooch Elaine and stuff. So, you know, I definitely like head down, no distractions could have done this in maybe half the time, but I also just don't trust that it would 
have been as good or that I would have been as creative. I do like to have a distraction when I am creating because it helps me like not overthink something and really tap into my like intuition over what something should look like. When I'm at work, I, I am a ceramicist. So when I'm at work, like I have to have a podcast playing in the background or else I like cannot do my job, which is very interesting. And this is very much the same. You will be able to see everything in the full month flip through that I will be recording shortly, but you, you got to see a, a decent amount of it throughout the video, which is always fun. Um, oh, I need, can I get my book, my notebook and the pen, pen, pen. <laughs> Good luck, babe. I knew it. <laughs> like I ask that Elaine puts her headphones on when I do this because I get so like I get shy if I feel like someone's watching me like mess up over and over again so she has her headphones on blast listening to Chapel Rowan's new song good luck babe so checking my uh challenge prompts it looks like I completed everything except for one which was a song illustration as you saw mm, it's a little hard for me not to count this one. And, and I mean, I wrote the challenge. I could count it if I wanted to. I don't know why I'm being so like weird and hard on myself about it, but I do like to illustrate like a, yeah, I don't think I have one. I like to illustrate a, um, like an album cover or the Spotify art that comes up for the song when you're listening to it and then put the lyrics in the background. So in my mind, that's what I mean when I say a song illustration. Could I count my Beyonce cover? Like, yes. But for whatever reason, I'm not. Should I count it? Let me know if I should count it because as of recording, I'm not gonna count it because there is no like actual illustrating of a song happening. It's a uh, record cover. So I don't know, let me, let me know what you think about that. But I would say out of like 11 challenges or 11 prompts, getting them all done, but one, that's pretty good. It was really fun to have the prompt list. Like, I think I might do that moving forward because it helps take the pressure off. If a day is bad and you really just don't wanna revisit it or you really just don't have anything to say for that day, it's a nice like fail safe or, you know, it's like, it's something nice to fall back on. So that was cool. And of course you can always go to Claire from online's page at not afraid of paper. She does like monthly prompts there. So they are definitely more um, writing focused or like journaling focused. Whereas the prompts that I gave myself were more drawing, illustrating, color, like things less journaly, so to say. So yeah, that was it. It took um, all of Sunday, all of Monday, a couple of hours on Tuesday and about an hour on Wednesday. So I mean, all in all, really like taking breaks into consideration. I think it took like a little over 24 hours. And as you saw, initially this video was gonna be a 24 hour journal-a-thon and I was gonna pull an all-nighter and try to get everything done. I am so glad I didn't do that. Like not only for just my sleep schedule and like my sanity, but I don't think I would have created nearly as many pages that I were, that, I that I'm proud of. So love that that happened. Um, and I would like to do more of these like bigger challenges. Like I, I don't want to take four days to do it, but I think it would be nice to be like, okay, Saturday morning, I'm going to cross off five pages because spoiler alert, I'm still behind. I've only, I've done no pages in April and it's almost mid April at the moment. Ah! But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed doing it. Um, and like watching myself journal, I obviously don't get to see that very often. Like some of these time lapses, I'm like moving around, like looks like I'm dancing, which is crazy. And the faces I'm making, like I knew I made those faces. So that wasn't really a surprise, but it was nice to see it and nice to have like a, a little moment frozen in time on the internet. So thank you for watching as always. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.